as you all know, Sargeras was only defeated and imprisoned, and since Legion, we had not heard anything of him. Well, with the Shadowlands, we first started learning about the connection between Sargeras and Zoval. However, recent 9.2 spawn information revealed to us more stuff in regards to the Jailer being directly behind Argus and his imprisonment, as well as corruption. To top it off, with the Jailer having the same target as Sargeras and attacking Azeroth and Blizzard hinting about us, looking at a red star at the sky and making sure it is still there, as well as them saying that the sword of Sargeras will be used at one point. What exactly is going on? Could Sargeras actually return with the Shadowlands finale? Record your raids, arenas, medic plus, or with Squad OE, the app that you just install, and it records itself without a click of a button. Aside from watching your friend's perspective and analyzing your performance, you can see complete encounter stats, spell visualizations, and a bunch of other things. Best of all, it can be done from anywhere, just from the web app. Check out Squad OE completely free with my link in the description. Sergeras' story had two major retcons throughout Warcraft history. One was early in World of Warcraft in regards to the Eredar and corruption and was a relatively minor one. And the second, and in my opinion the more significant one, is the Shadowlands one which completely reshaped him and just changed everything. Realistically, Sargeras is the main villain of the Warcraft series, or at least was until a few years back with the Chronicle adding more depth to the cosmology, and now with the recent changes on top of that and everything just changed, I gotta say it makes sense as the game does have to move on and we did manage to defeat Sargeras back in Legion, so obviously other big bads need to be introduced to the story for it to progress, however I can't say I'm too happy with how that was done thus far, well the biggest change up to this point is that Sergeras has been manipulated by the Jailer since the start, and it turns out that Zoval was literally behind everything he had done until now. The Dread Lords corrupted the Titans, and as you may know, Sergeras was the frontline soldier of the Titan Pantheon battling chaos all across the universe. They did this by showing him this order, which led to his dark transition and the creation of the Burning Legion as an army to be used for his burning crusade, aka the mission to just destroy the universe and remake it just without the flaws. However, Turns out that this was a hallowed goal from the start, and now with the most recent big 9.2 spoilers, this makes it even more hallowed. As you may be aware, Argus is returning in Shadowlands as the Dreadlords try to turn him into the new Arbiter of the Afterlife. This more than likely reveals to us that Sargeras is using Argus as an engine for his army and everything else he had done with the World Soul was him just falling into the Jailer's trap as the Jailer wanted to use the power of the World Soul to shatter the Arbiter and infuse himself with a very powerful soul to ultimately allow him to escape. Now, I can't say this is an incredibly realistic plan in the slightest, as keep in mind, this happened like 25,000 years ago, but that is the story they're going with now and that you will be able to explore in 9.2. However, how does all this stuff bring us to Sergeras and his possible return and reintroduction? Well, since the first mention of the cooperation between Zobo and Sargeras, we had speculated on what exactly was the nature of their relationship. It was pretty much confirmed that the Dreadlords manipulated the Legion to inject the Lich King into Azeroth, but it was unclear whether they actually worked together, they were allies with a common goal, or just sworn enemies attacking each other. Of course, that still isn't confirmed, but thus far, many things are indicated that they are not and they never were allies, and that Zobal had manipulated Sargeras this entire time. With his master plan, he essentially managed to get rid of the Titans, to eliminate an entire cosmological force, that is order, to get the strongest Titan to destroy most the universe, the Burning Legion, to get us to then destroy him, and then to use this energy to empower himself, so yeah, you can just observe the extent of his insane intelligence, as keep in mind, all this stuff happened over a span of 25,000 years plus, so yeah, no one ever intercepted this master genius. However, 
The most important thing to note, while Psygnus was imprisoned, he was never actually killed and he is still around. If you remember when Nikki defeated him, a red star appeared in the sky, visible from Azeroth, that is Sergeras. However, Blizzard even back then teased us, saying keep looking at that red star in the sky because if suddenly something changes and you no longer see it, big things will be happening in the Warcraft universe. There have also been some people noticing that the red star had gotten larger than it has been before, but that is of course up for debate. Now, you may be wondering why is this even relevant? Well, in fact, it is incredibly relevant. I think the current Shadowlands storyline is the closest we get to the Sargeras storyline since Legion. I can't be the only one that might see that Sargeras and Zowal have pretty much the same goals or at least the same means of achieving the goals. Of course, you know, Sargeras is a million times better written because he was a pure being of order that wanted to recreate the universe to be perfect. Essentially, a noble goal with a terrible cruel twist to it, while the Jailer is just a bland boring villain that wants to torment us for all eternity. However, I think both of their goals could be achieved in much the same manner. As you may be aware, Zeret Mortis is the behind the scenes of the universe and there are apparently other behind the scenes for other cosmological forces. So obviously there is a mechanism that holds the universe as it is and it is hidden and now we are going inside this mechanism. I know Sergeras was made out to be just a complete idiot with this Jailer storyline, but keep in mind he was pretty much the most powerful being ever. There is no way he didn't know about Zeret Mortis or this entire behind the scenes mechanism that could be destroyed or he must have at least heard about it. He may have learned about it later but seriously why destroy everything planet by planet, start all these resource draining campaigns and invasions when you can just reach a realm, push a button and end the old reality? It will be much simpler. Big spoilers for 9.2, but we know that the final fight revolves around the Jailer fighting a world soul, and there is a ton of Azerite in the Sepulchre, so obviously Azeroth is somehow empowering this mechanism. Well, remember that Sergeras was also obsessed with Azeroth, and he ultimately stabbed it with probably the same goal as the Jailer in mind. Seeing that they're obviously pushing this entire logic that the Jailer is 50 steps ahead of everyone and that Sergeras was obviously toyed around with for thousands of years, but what if he knew that Azeroth was the key, but he didn't know what door he was supposed to open? He may have just attempted to brute force it and just shatter the entire planet, while he didn't know there was a way to reach the Sepulchre and to accomplish the same thing in just a more sophisticated manner. However, now that big cosmological things are happening, what if it is high time for Sergeras to realize that he has been duped this entire time? I know it is kind of ridiculous, but maybe he isn't such a simpleton after all. He manages to free himself and now realizes that the sepulchre was the key to all his troubles, and he also takes revenge on the jailer. Sounds interesting to me, although I'm not sure how likely it is, seeing that things are indicating that we are the ones that defeat Zowal in the end. What is also possible though, is is that Zowal messing up within the sepulchre and us doing stuff there might let something loose which could ultimately free Sergeras and start an entire new story. Remember early this year Blizzard hinted that the gigantic sword in Silithus that is still there has a role to play and that we should wait and see what this role is. When we combine this with them hinting to keep an eye out for the Red Star, I can't be the only one that puts two and two together. Then to top it all off, we have the Jailer attacking the same target Sergeras did and playing around with the hardware of the universe that was the main point of interest of Sergeras as well. It just makes even more sense. It is hard to speculate what sort of role Sergeras could play since the Jailer storyline has completely uprooted the current lore, but you can't not see that there is a ton of potential for Sergeras to return as a character and that they could really reintroduce him and move him in multiple directions. Thank you for watching. Check out Artist's voice lines in 9.2 by clicking on the screen and check out Donuts Academy for videos on real world history. See you next time.